Next, let's learn how to write programs for the robot. Click this icon to switch to the programming interface. We mainly use graphical programming to write programs. On the left is the module area, which contains the scratch blocks used for programming. The larger area here is the programming area. You need to place blocks here to write the program. When writing a program, you need to move the cursor to a programming block in the module area. Hold down the left mouse button and drag the block to the programming area. At this point, release the left mouse button and the block can be placed in the programming area. The programming block looks a little small, so you can click the zoom button in the right corner to enlarge the view of this programming R. If you think it is too big, you can click on the zoom out button here to reduce the view. And we can drag the block to move its position, click the first function button. You can choose to load the built-in sample program though, if you don't want to load it, click here to go back. Or you can hold down the left mouse button in the blank area of the programming area and move the mouse so that you can pan the view. If you want to delete the programming block, you can drag it to the module area to delete it. If you accidentally delete a program, you can right-click here and select Undo, the deleted programming module or program will be restored back. We can also move the cursor over the programming module, click the right mouse button and select Delete, which is another way to delete the programming module. Next, let's write a simple program, make the robot move. To run the program, you need to use this program start block. First, zoom in, find this motor block, drag it to the programming area, and then place its notched part near the raised part of the module above it. Release the left mouse button and you can connect the two programming blocks. Select this programming block, click the right mouse button and select copy so that an identical block is generated. The copied block will follow the mouse movement. And then place its notched part near the raised part of the module above it. Click the left mouse button to connect them. Click here to select the motor connection port. We choose M2 and let the robot's left and right motors both turn at a speed of 50. Then find the color light module in the sensor, because the color light is connected to the P2 port. So select P2 here, it can light up the green light. Click this one function button to view the Python code corresponding to this one program. Click this button to zoom in the Python code window, click again to zoom out. Click this button to copy this Python code, which shows that the copy is successful. Click this to close the Python code area. Click this function button, you can choose to load the built-in sample program, if you don't want to load, click here to return. If you click this function button, you can locate the center view of the program. For example, if we move the program first, and then click this button, we can position the center focus on this program. If there are multiple programs, click this button again to locate the central focus of the view to the center of these programs. We delete these two programs. Variables are often used in programming, and we can select variables here. Click to create a variable, enter the variable name, such as initial speed, and then click OK, and the module related to the variable will be automatically generated in the module area. Right-click the cursor on this programming module, you can choose to modify the variable name, or delete the variable. You can set the value of this variable to 60 in the program, and then let the two motors rotate with the value in the variable as the speed value. We will also frequently use the subroutine function, using the subroutine function. Multiple programming modules can be packaged together, and then the subroutine can be called as the main program in a group program. When running to this calling module, it will jump to the subroutine to run this program. After the operation is completed, it will call back to the subroutine to run the subsequent program. When we name variables or subroutines, we cannot use names starting with numbers. And we cannot add spaces. We should use English letters or Chinese names, or add numbers at the back. When necessary, you can use underscore symbols for separation, taking care not to use such common symbols as plus and minus signs. Next, let's create a subroutine. In software, subroutines are also known as functions. Let's start by clicking on my block here. Click on make a block and enter the name of the function. For example, if we want to create a function that makes the robot turn left, enter turn left. 
Here you can add text, number parameters, and Boolean parameters. We can add a numeric type parameter, enter the parameter name, left turn time, and click OK, then two modules will be automatically generated. This block that is used to define the function subroutine. And this one is the subroutine calling block. If you want to delete this define a module, you will be prompted to delete the calling module corresponding to this define module before deleting it. Next, let's write the left turn program, we use the single wheel left turn. Let the left motor not turn and the right motor turn, it will make the robot single wheel left turn. Then add a waiting time block, place this one left turn time parameter variable here. Let the motor stop turning, then the subroutine is created. We just use the calling module and call it in the main program. Here you need to enter a value. For example, enter 1.5 to be left turn time here. To make it easier to know what this value means, we can add a text description in front of it. How to add it? We can move the cursor to this module, click the right mouse button and select edit. We can't directly insert text in front of it. We can only add a text description and enter the left turn time. Then add a number parameter, also called left turn time. Then remove this previous number parameter, click OK, and a text marker will appear on this calling module. Re-enter the left turn time of 1.5 and also add the time to let the robot go straight. For example, let the robot walk straight for 2 seconds and turn left flat backwards to light up red. The program writing ends here, you can click here to save the program and enter the file name, for example robot program. And click save. And click here to open a previously saved program. For example, to open the program we just saved, select the program and click open.